Hi, these are my mandolin dot tools. I use these a lot. These are uh, fingernail art tools. You can get them at a craft store or a salon supply store. I use these for my bigger dots. You get them um, at a craft store, material store. They're crochet hooks. You want to get the acrylic or plastic ones. You don't want metal ones because the bottom, when you get these, are rounded. I sand them down and make them flat and they make great large dots. Next, you want to get a white chalk pencil because it, it washes off or you can paint over the white. It's real easy, but it's just for guidelines for your work. So you're going to use this to make guidelines. I then have, uh, I use a, I didn't a pen, but um, You can use a Sharpie. Um, it's just great for the artwork that I do on my on my bowls. Plus, if you make a mistake, a little mistake, just color over it with the black Sharpie and voila, it's gone. Pencil. Pencil's great. Um, you can use the end of a pencil for dotting. You can use the eraser for dots. Makes a good tool for a lot of things. And if you have pencil lines on your gourd before you paint the black on it don't worry about it because you're going to paint over it you don't even have to erase it if you don't want to <coughs> paint brushes excuse me <coughs> this here is um, measuring tape my cousin gave it to me it's great it's just a sewer's tape but it's great for gourds it bends it goes with you it's flexible it's really awesome so i use this to measure my measurements on gourds. Next is the wood filler. My gourd on the outside has a little hole in it or a little misperfection. I put it in it, I set it, I sand it, I paint over it. Nobody knows I've ever used it. Of course we need paints. I buy cheap paints. I don't buy expensive paints. Um, and of course you need a tray to put your paints in. Then I use this. It is a uh, slow dry. It's on the expensive side, so if you use very, very little of it. I don't really put it in my paints to make it slow dry. I put it in the, the paints that are too thin, and it thickens the paints. Then, of course, if the paint gets too thick, you put too much in, just add a drop of water. It's all good. Next, I use this for making circles around my work so that I have a guide and keep things in in line so that it looks symmetrical. Okay, then we have painter's tape. Great for my designs. It took me a while to figure out how to get my designs inside the dots. I didn't want to paint the dots after I painted my design on. I wanted my design to actually be a part of the dots where it looks like they're actually set into the dots. So I use painter's tape. I get the whitest painter's tape that I can find. Next of course is polyacrylic. You want the canned stuff because it goes on thicker. I put two to three coats on the inside of my gourd to prep it for the bowl. The next tool, which is the coolest tool, are these. I picked these up on Amazon. They're great. I think they were like 20 bucks. They they fit on over my glasses because I wear glasses. They make a pro my project which is maybe this big. Look this big. So great in painting and I'm going to show you how bright this is. It has a light. It brightens up my project. When the light burns out you put a new battery in and you're good to go. What comes with this, which is also very cool, is a little box. And this little box has extra or different sized magnifications. So if you're not like me, blind, you might want to use one of the smaller magnifications. So this is fantastic. This is one of my best tools. I use it all the time with every piece of artwork I do. 
and that's it. That's my tools. But I wanted to say is that you can also just anything you can find, whatever you want to make your size dot. Take your paint. Let's say you want to make a big dot. Use your acrylic paint. Put it in. You got a dot. A little bit bigger, but not as it's bigger than what you have, but not too big. Use the lid. Dip it in. Make your dot. Dot tools can be anything that you can find that might work for you. Okay, on to the next step. Thanks. Hi, practice tip. Get yourself a piece of cardboard. Doesn't matter if it's small or big. And paint it black. This one, you can see, I've kind of been playing around on the other side. Okay, take a large from the large crochet hooks. Anything you've got, take a large butt so that you can see I'm doing it larger. You can do them smaller. I'm doing them large so that you can see a little better. Put your dot down. Nice dot. Pop that dot off. Clean your product. Then I've got these three sizes right here. I'm going to take the smallest of the three and I'm going to practice doing the dots around it. I'm going to dip it in. I go about oh an eighth of an inch up on on it on the um, crochet hook, and there's a little bubble at the end. And I'm going to take. I'm going to make a dot, and then I'm going to bounce it around, and then I'm going to go to the other side. We dip it. I'm going to go over the same one in there, and I'm going to go and bounce it around the other side. And you can see, or this way, how the dots are larger and they go smaller and smaller and smaller. You're kind of hopping. You're taking your, your crochet hook dot and you're just hopping. And uh, you know, you know, you just put it in. Have it about an eighth of an inch up. You want this little ball of paint at the bottom. And I don't think you can see it real well here. But practice, <coughs> practice making the dots <coughs> and bouncing. Just bounce, <coughs> bounce, <coughs> and uh, just <coughs> practice making it. Use all use your tools. Practice with different tools. Um, the pattern that we're going to be using on the bowl, this is an exercise up. It actually will have should come out a little bit bigger, and then we'll be bouncing. These don't bounce as well as the smaller ones, but it's still good practice. It doesn't hurt if they're not perfect. You're not really looking for perfect as much as you are just the feel of the bounce. This one is going to go a little bit bigger. Um, if you want a real good bounce, you're going to take one of these stylus tools, okay, and use a, a big one or a small one. I'm going to use the bigger one because I want you to see when you bounce this one bounces a little better, and it just keeps getting smaller and smaller. So this is your practice board. So you can play around while you're waiting to do the other uh, parts of the tutorial. Okay, have fun till I see you next time.